It's Moodle time. Yes, it's Moodle time. Uh, okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to transfer your files if you want to. And we'll talk about why you might want to or why you might want not to. But transfer your files from your normal H drive and convert them over to um, your Google Drive. Um, and um, why you would want to do that. Um, so one nice thing is you can link them to your Moodle. And then instead of going into your Moodle to update them, if you have any updates, you can just change them in your, um, in your Google Drive and then it'll automatically update them because in fact you're not actually downloading the, the say Google Docs or the Google Slides to the Moodle you're just linking to them through the Moodle so that's a nice thing and it's really nice for updating and especially if you're thinking oh I'm gonna have this Moodle for the next five or ten years you might be thinking that's be a nice uh, way to go. The reason why you wouldn't want to probably transfer all your files over to Google Drive and then link them is because actually it's a lot of uh, extra work and if you put a lot of work into your documents or your say your PowerPoints um, uh, then it could be that the formatting won't transfer very nicely and you'll end up spending all this time where um, in the future if you need to update whatever your um, uploading to Moodle you could just maybe just spend the extra couple minutes to do that so um, I disclaimer for or I should say full disclosure um, I don't know that much about Google Drive uh, or Google and Google Docs and all the different things I know a little bit um, so I'll show you what I know but there's some teachers that know a lot more so they will have better insight into this so First thing is we're going to go to your Google Drive. So that's online. So go ahead and open up a new tab. And you could just type in Google uh, Drive if you want to, something like that. It's going to be drive.google.com. Um, so the second one down here says download Google Drive. Um, or the free cloud storage. I'm going to click on that one. Um, and here I can go to drive this button here. So if you're logged into your user account, it'll just automatically go to your drive and it'll upload all the files that you have and everything. And so you can kind of see here the folders down here and there's some other files down there. If I scroll down there, I can keep scrolling forever and see all the files. Um, but the folders are up here. And you can see I have one that's called Physics 30, or maybe you can't quite see it, but it does say that. Um, if you were not logged into your uh, account here, I can just show you what that... Uh, uh, should I show you? Anyway, you just log in. You, your username and password. Now your username would be your email address. Um, the Holy Trinity one's fine for that. And your password is not the same password as logging into the computer. Um, there's a specific one that you have for your Google Drive. So if you don't know about that password, you're like, ah, I can't remember what I had for that. Yeah, that's a different, that's a different thing. So um, maybe I, you can, you can email me or talk to me uh, throughout the week, and I can help you with that. Um, or you can call up IT and ask them what's going on. Um, okay, so here we are. If I click on this this folder here it kind of looks similar to your H drive in a way where you have other folders inside of those folders um, and so um, first thing I want to show you is how to move a folder here so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring up my so this is my H drive I'm going to bring up um, Let's go to pretend unit in order. I want to bring all this into there. So actually the nice thing is I can just click on, click and hold pretend unit in order or whatever unit I want to bring over and just drop it in. And so the nice thing is that way to transfer in that direction, very easy. To go back the other way, it's not as simple uh, from what I've seen. Because um, I've tried a few times, just like click on it and, oops click on a folder Let's see if I can do that now yeah and then drag it over and it doesn't recognize it over here so 
Uh, it's good one way anyway. I'm going to open up. So I dragged over this one. Pretend unit is in order. And when I click on that, you can see all the files came up. And even the other folder, and that folder had files inside of it, and that all came up. So you can easily drag stuff into your Google Drive. Um, and let's see what we have here. So you'll notice everything has the name and then an extension, like a .pptx, that's a PowerPoint, and .py, that's a for coding, PDF you might recognize, .wave, that's music, .mp3, it's also music, uh, .xlsx, that's an Excel street, um, sheet, PDF, .docx, that's going to be for off, um, Word doc, HTML, uh, PNG, that's a picture, docx, again another word. Okay, so it all uploads and it has the, basically the same file that's uploaded. So that's kind of nice. Now, the only thing with these is that um, for, if you're using Google products, you want, instead of a Word document, for it to be a Google Doc. So let's look at this one first, and I'll show you how to convert them. Um, you can just double click on them. And it'll show you, here's my Amazing Race uh, flowchart. Um, in Word, it looks really good. Right now, it's being shown in um, a, a viewer kind of thing. And I can now go up the top here and decide whether what to open it with. And as you can see, there's some options there. But really, Google Docs is the only one I really care about. So if we open up in Google Docs, you can see uh, the formatting worked okay. It's a little bit off. If I went, you can see up here it's still dot uh, .docx, which is a Microsoft Word format. Uh, I could save it right now, as um, or I could share it right now and all that stuff. But I, I could um, save it as a, a Word, a Google Doc, sorry, and um, it's going to look like this. So let's go ahead and do that. To save it as a Google Doc, go File, and go Save as Google Docs right down here. So now what's gonna what's gonna happen is it's gonna turn into a Google Doc. So all the sharing possibilities, all the everyone collaborating, working together on it works really good, and um, it looks pretty good. It, like things are not quite as as nice as they were in um, in Word, but um, it looks it, it did actually a relatively good job, and um, we, you know. Can, I can be happy enough with this. I don't know. A little picky at the bottom here. It cuts it off a little bit. So there's going to be definitely some formatting issues or potential anyway. So if I go back to oh wrong one. Can I click on this one? Yeah. If I go back to my drive now, you'll see that there it says four amazing race flowchart. That's the docx that I opened. And the one that doesn't have the extension, no dot anything. That's the um, Google Doc. So now I've just created a Google Doc from a Word Doc. Not too hard, hopefully. Um, we can take a look at slides. So I'm going to go to PowerPoint here. I have a cyborg presentation. And you can see in the preview, it makes it almost look like a PDF. Okay, so I can look through it. Some things look a little bit out of whack. So I'm going to open with Google Slides. Um, and this might take a little while, depending on how big your PowerPoint presentation is. Uh, but now that I look at it, the formatting looks decent. If I um, go to present it, let's see if I can do that. If I go to present it, you'll notice uh, th that one looks good. Here I can. This one is a presentation I'd give in my computer science uh, class. Uh, okay, this one here was a video, and it's now a picture, so that's some formatting problems. These links still work, which is nice. Um, this is just text, and then we're done there. So this all works pretty good, um, but there is a little bit of formatting problem. So again, you're not saving a lot of time if you have really complex PowerPoints and really complex Word documents, um, and I would maybe even really complex Excel sheets. I'm not sure if you use those at all. Um, when you transfer it over to Google Slides, you're going to have to do a little bit of time to um, reformat things okay so just keep that in mind so it's not all it's not all uh, um, an easy train to ride on here okay um, 
the other thing I was going to take or show you is you can also do PDFs. Now, this PDF um, magnetic fields notes, I'm going to just open that up. Okay, so it opens like this. Everything is looking quite nice. Okay, I scroll down. Yeah, it's basically all text based with one picture in there. Now, if I open this with Google Docs, so remember this is a PDF that I'm opening now with Google Docs. So then it's going to convert it. And as, I think as long as your formatting, oh no, it, it got destroyed. <laughs> I was going to say, as long as your formatting is not too complicated, it should be fine. Uh, but okay, the text, it looks like it's all there. Just a lot, lot more work to, to bring this back to looking good. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and go file and say, um, oh, I thought I could save this one. I know I can download it as a Word doc. Make a copy. I don't know if I can. I don't think that would. Let's just try it out. Um, I don't know. That's, that doesn't look like it's going to help me. So we can go file, download, which again, as a Word doc. Um, it's not really what I want, but let's just see what it's going to do. Um, so this is going to be bringing me back out of my Google Docs and this this Word document now is on my um, on my downloads on the not really on the H drive but yes kind of so um, we'll see what happened to the formatting that we went from a PDF to basically using yeah okay the Google Drive and then we saved it as a Word doc and you can see that it is as soon as it lets me yeah you can see it's pretty much destroyed so that's not recommended uh, anyway if you have a PDF I'm gonna make another video showing how to convert PDF to Word um, but converting PDF to um, Google Doc maybe not maybe not the best idea again there might be some people that know how to do this better than I so um, that gives you an idea now Remember, uh, I've created other videos where I've shown how to link these into your Moodle. Um, and again, let me just show you something just so you don't get stuck on this. Um, let me open up. I think I have my Moodle. Maybe not. It's kind of weird not to have my Moodle around. I did have it. Oh, yeah, it's right there. Okay, there we go. So um, let's go back to the... So here you, what we did before with the H drive, like the office things, like the words and PDFs and things like that, we'd just simply turn editing on, then you'd scroll down to, let's say we want to put it into movies, and you would just click on one of these and drag it over. But you notice now Moodle doesn't recognize what we're trying to drag over here, and so there's no love there. Uh, and so this is where you typically, uh, unless someone knows of a different way, what I, you typically do is you'd share it. So let me go to amazing race flowchart here. So what you do is you click on share. Um, and again, you would take a look at the links down here. I'm going to move me up here, I guess. Um, and so I'm going to change it. Probably, I mean, you could do Holy Trinity Catholic Schools, but I think I would, I would prefer... Uh, again, to use anyone with a link and then have them just be able to view it. So if I go copy link there, then I come in here, I add an activity, I add a um, URL, I click on add, and this is where I would put the external. I paste that in there and I'd call this, again, it's the chart something like that okay or I could create something that links to the document okay so I'll save and display that for now and um, there it is there's the link if I click on this link it'll link to uh, the, the students to the flowchart so you do that with Google Slides Google Docs Google Sheets um, and anything else that you had on there I guess you could also um, you could link to a PDF, that kind of thing as well, or any of those files. So, I know I made it probably look like, why would you ever use Google Docs, or Google uh, Drives? And um, 
anyway if you have everything already in your H drive yeah I'm struggling to find really good reasons why you'd use it other than um, again you can update now I can update this amazing race flowchart and I can make some changes and then I never have to go back into my uh, Moodle over here because this link will link to the updated version so that's the nice thing about it hope that helps well, I'll see you again.